Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about some photography basics. I've been getting asked a lot, what are my settings on my photos? And I don't include those in the videos as I probably should start because I get asked a lot, what was your settings? What were your settings? What were your settings? With that said, I'm going to just go over some basic settings that I use or at least start with when I get to a venue. So the first thing I'm going to start with is figuring out what my ISO is going to have to be at. And that includes setting my f-stop and figuring out a shutter speed that's going to work for the sport that I'm covering. So if it's volleyball, basketball, football, football, usually it's not an issue um, with shutter speed and everything, because if it's a daytime game, you can go as fast as you need to lower the ISO and you're going to be fine. But for gymnasium stuff, which is what I'm covering a lot of right now that we are in winter sports, we got indoor track, basketball, women's and men's. So in my venue, I start at one eight hundredth of a second on my shutter. I would love to be at one one thousandth, but we are in a very dark gymnasium. So my lenses are either going to be an F 2.8 or an F 1.8, but most of my sport lenses are 2.8 lenses. So I set my F stop at F 2.8, no matter what that is going to allow me to keep my shutter speed decently fast. And it's going to allow me to keep my ISO at the lowest possible number that I can keep it at lower the number of the ISO less grain you're going to see in your photos. The higher you go, it's going to get noisier and you're going to have to deal with that in some gymnasiums to at least keep your shutter speed one five hundredth or faster. One five hundredth, you're still going to see blur in the hands, possibly in the player if they're super fast. So I try to be at one eight hundredth. So F 2.8 or at least as fast as your lens goes. If you have a F four, it's going to be really tough at F four in a lot of gymnasiums and it's going to be tough with any kit lenses. So if you can get a budget friendly 50 millimeter F 1.8, at least for Canon, um, that's going to be a good start for basketball. If you can get under the basket and shoot um, underneath the basket, a 50 is going to make it work for at least the close up shots. It's going to be a little tough when they're out shooting the three pointers and stuff. But if you're just getting into it and you need a lens that is going to be fast enough for your gymnasium, a 50 millimeter is a great option. You can find them for just around a hundred bucks. Um, if you get the cheaper uh, F 1.8 ones, or if you could find an 85 1.8 by Canon, the Canon EF F 1.8, that's a great lens for basketball. I've used it a lot for basketball and volleyball, and it's going to allow you to keep that ISO lower and that shutter speed faster. You're going to want a shutter speed to stop the action. So if you can get one eight hundredth or faster, that's going to be a great, great spot to be within your sports images. Now with ISO, you're going to have to jump around. You're going to have to figure out what works best to get the fast shutter speed. So you're going to have to start at 400 and you're going to probably have to go up to get 400 in a gymnasium. You must be in a very, very bright gym. I'm typically at our gymnasium at 64,000 ISO. That's very high. I have to do a little bit of noise reduction in post in Lightroom for those photos to be usable outside of social media. For social media, if you're just posting Instagram stuff, it's not gonna be that big of a deal. They still work for the school's website, but I still do a little bit of noise reduction. And if I can, um, if I shoot with the lens that's faster than 2.0 or 2.8, I will be able to drop that ISO to like 4,000. And you can also probably, if you have the right camera, the Canon R6 does pretty well, I will shoot one stop underexposed and just bring it back in post. That allows me to keep my ISO lower. That allows me to have one eight hundredth on my shutter speed and keeps my images less noisy, less grainy. So these are just some basics to get started. Find a shutter speed that's going to work for your athletes and for your gymnasium or your indoor arena, wherever you are shooting indoors, make sure your lens is a fast lens. So 1.8, a 2.8, if you can find the shutter speed and then find the ISO level that gives you the exposure that you need without getting too high in the, um, in the numbers. So keep that ISO low, make sure you have a decently fast shutter speed to stop the action. And that's a good start to go with from there. 
With that said, I'd appreciate it if you like, subscribe. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer them. And I'll see you all next time. Thank you.